Hello everyone and welcome to Bitfrist channel. In this video we have collected 10 most frequently asked questions about cryptocurrency and we have tried to explain the answers for these questions so briefly and simply. But before jumping into the topic, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Who created Bitcoin? And when was it launched? Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency created and is now the most valuable and well-known. It was first launched in January 2009 by a computer programmer or group of programmers under the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto, whose actual identity has never been verified. The Bitcoin network is a worldwide network of computers that run Bitcoin software. What is cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is a digital payment system that doesn't rely on banks to verify transactions. It's a peer-to-peer -peer system that can enable anyone anywhere to send and receive payments. Instead of being physical money carried around and exchanged in the real world, cryptocurrency payments exist purely as digital entries to an online database describing specific transactions. When you transfer cryptocurrency funds, the transactions are recorded in a public ledger. Cryptocurrency is stored in digital wallets. Cryptocurrency received its name because it uses encryption to verify transactions. This means advanced coding is involved in storing and transmitting cryptocurrency data between wallets and to public ledgers. The aim of encryption is to provide security and safety. The first cryptocurrency was Bitcoin, which was founded in 2009 and remains the best known today. How many cryptocurrencies are there? There are currently thousands of cryptocurrencies in existence. Many of these have only a very small following, while some like Bitcoin and Ethereum have a large number of users and investors. What is Bitcoin mining? Bitcoin mining is the mechanism by which participants on the Bitcoin network reach consensus regarding the next block of transactions to add to the Bitcoin blockchain. For each new block, certain people called miners race with one another to find a solution to a cryptographic puzzle. The first miner to find a solution gets to propose the new block of transactions to the entire network. As a reward, the winning miner of the block gets newly created Bitcoin. Thus, mining is also the process by which new Bitcoin are introduced into the system. Who controls Bitcoin? Bitcoin is controlled by all Bitcoin users around the world. Developers are improving the software, but they can't force a change in the rules of the Bitcoin protocol because all users are free to choose what software they use. What is the main difference between Bitcoin and NFTs? Non-fungible tokens, NFTs, are blockchain tokens that are not in general mutually interchangeable. In contrast, Bitcoin is a fungible token, meaning that one Bitcoin can be readily exchanged for another Bitcoin, much in the same way one Canadian dollar can be exchanged for another Canadian dollar. Is cryptocurrency traceable? Transactions on public blockchains like Bitcoin, although pseudonymous, are transparent and publicly viewable. Anyone can see all transactions linked to any address on the Bitcoin blockchain. What is a crypto wallet? Crypto wallets store private keys, the passwords that give you access to your cryptocurrencies. Crypto wallets can be either hot wallets, meaning they are connected to the internet, or cold wallets, meaning they are offline. Hot wallets are generally more susceptible to being hacked than cold wallets, so the best practice is to use a cold wallet for the long-term storage of cryptocurrencies. Where can you buy Bitcoin? There are dozens, if not hundreds of different places you can buy Bitcoin, but they mostly fall into one of these three categories. Number one, cryptocurrency exchanges like Binance or Coinbase. Number two, brokerages like Robinhood. And number three, some applications like Cash App or Venmo or the similar applications. What is blockchain? A blockchain is a distributed database that maintains a continuously growing list of ordered records, called blocks. These blocks are linked using cryptography. Each block contains a cryptographic hash of the previous block, a timestamp, and transaction data. A blockchain is a decentralized, distributed, and public digital ledger that is used to record transactions across many computers so that the record cannot be altered retroactively without the alteration of all subsequent blocks and the consensus of the network. Thanks for watching the video. 
If you found the content useful, please hit the like button and feel free to ask any questions you have in the comments section below.